In this video, we're gonna show you how to make friends while you're traveling by yourself. Hey guys, welcome to Travel Related. My name's Trey and on this channel, my sister Katie and I share with you our insights and experiences to help you make travel possible. Traveling alone is something that a lot of people don't consider because they feel like they'll be lonely or they won't meet anybody. But in our experiences, that just isn't the case. Traveling by yourself can give you an even better opportunity to meet new people because you're more open to starting conversations with strangers when you don't have that comfort zone that your friends provide. But the question is, how do you meet these people? Well, we're gonna fill you in on some of our secrets. So here are some simple ways that we've used to make friends all around the world. First tip, stay in hostels. This is one of the easiest ways to meet new people while traveling. Hostels are filled with both solo and group travelers, and most of them are wanting to meet people just like you. And if you want, you can stay in a large mixed dorm and be surrounded by people that you've never met. It's really fun. We actually made a video about how to choose the right hostel for you. We'll link it up here. Buy a case of cheap beer. This one works really well because everybody likes a free drink. So just stop at a convenience store and buy a case of cheap beer and hand them out to people at your hostel. It's a great way to have really fun and interesting conversations with people. Another thing I love to do is go on a tour. This is a great way to meet new people because it's filled with those who are visiting a city just like you. It's a great time to strike up a conversation with someone from a different country or background. When you're meeting locals, it can kind of be a hit or miss as to whether they want to meet new people or not. But when you're meeting fellow travelers, chances are really high that they're also looking for someone new to talk to. A lot of hostels offer free walking tours, so that's a great idea. Um, I went on the official Sound of Music tour in Austria and I met a girl, we immediately clicked, we went to dinner together that night, and turns out we were both going to Switzerland the next day and staying in the same hostel. So when I got to Switzerland, I immediately had a friend to hang out with. When you go on a tour, you're going to be spending at least a couple of hours with these people, so it's a great bonding experience. Bring a power strip with USB ports. This is a really handy trick for starting conversations with people. With so many people in your hostel dorm needing to charge their electronics after a long day of exploring, outlets can be really hard to come by. I've been traveling with this one for almost five years. It has two standard ports and two USB ports. And it kind of folds out like that. It doesn't take up a lot of room. So it's easy to travel with, it's lightweight. And you produce one of these things in a hostel and you will instantly be everybody's best friend. So take advantage of this. Another great idea is to book a hostel with an attached pub or restaurant. These are filled with travelers and most of them want to meet new people too. It's very normal to sit down and eat or have a drink with someone you've never met before. Everyone has a story to tell. Use your hostel's attached business to meet someone new. Also, a lot of hostels offer pub crawls and that's a really fun way to go out and make new friends. Try couch surfing. This is when locals open up their home to you and let you stay with them for free. Some will even take you around the city and show you places that you never would have been able to find without them. Lots of people around the world host couch surfers because they really enjoy welcoming travelers to their city. The best website for finding hosts is couchsurfing.com. And although couch surfing is free, it is customary to bring some sort of thank you gift like a bottle of wine. Today's travel related question is, would you couch surf with a complete stranger for free if they had fantastic reviews? Tell us in the comments. Another thing you can do is just walk up to people and introduce yourself. Trey was the one that gave me this advice and I'm really glad I took it. It takes a little courage, but you have to remember that you're surrounded by travelers that want to meet people just as much as you do. Step out of your comfort zone and introduce yourself. It's as simple as walking up to someone and saying, hi, my name's so-and-so, where are you from? The first time I did this was in London and I was in my hostel and saw two girls that were my age. So I walked up to them to say hi and let them know that I was going down to the pub for a drink if they wanted to join me. We immediately clicked and had a really fun night of trading stories and getting to know each other. I still keep up with them on social media two years later. If you're staying in a hostel, take advantage of the common areas such as the kitchen or game room. Although your dorm room is a great place to meet other travelers, 
you can meet even more travelers when you get out into these common areas. Lots of hostels will do some type of nightly event like a dinner or something designed to get you out talking and meeting people. But if not, a great tip is to go to the store and get some pasta to cook in the kitchen. We all know that pasta is really cheap and it feeds lots of people. So once you cook it at your hostel, offer it to some people. It's a great way to start a conversation and the people will love it. So give that a try. Learn something new. Go to a cooking class or a wine tasting. This can be a really great way to meet people because there's an activity, so it's not just centered around you making conversation. Choosing things that interest you and other travelers can bring all sorts of people together, and it creates a bonding experience without having to force anything. Once again, some of these things require you to step out of your comfort zone, and I think you're gonna be a lot better person because of it. You'll meet new people, you'll gain new experiences, and I don't think you're gonna regret it. Meeting new people is one of the best parts about traveling, whether you're alone or with a group. Go into it with the comfort that so many people want to meet you too, and you're going to bring your own great stories to the table. A lot of these situations happen naturally, so don't put a ton of pressure on yourself to make 20 friends on the first day. Just follow these tips that we've given you, and you're going to meet people from all over the globe. For more travel-related content, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Trey and I are blood related. But we can all be travel related. See you next time. Bye y'all. Oh look, here's some other videos of ours you might like.